Hi there folks, hope you're all doing well. It feels like to me that the prospect of reintroducing links to Scotland is slowly gaining momentum. Interest in the topic appears to be increasing among people, and recent surveys in the issue suggest that reintroduction of this animal has strong public support. Recently, proposals to bring back links to Scotland were discussed by MSPs in the Scottish Parliament, which in my opinion feels like a significant milestone of the Scottish rewilding journey. Links are a missing component of our ecosystem, a top predator which hunts deer. Hunting deer is vital for maintaining the health of our woodlands and also helps woodlands to expand. In a country which has such a dismal level of native woodland cover, bringing back the links would help set us on the right path to restoring woodland habitats across Scotland and boosting biodiversity. While links reintroduction has strong support, there are still some who oppose reintroduction for a variety of reasons. I'm hoping that by the end of this video, I will have provided you with a little bit of context on this subject and perhaps help to alleviate any fears you may have over links reintroduction. Okay, so what I want to talk about today are what I believe to be the top five reasons why most people seem to think that we cannot bring the links back to Scotland. Now, needless to say, I disagree with all these reasons, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these reasons and explain why I think these are not good enough reasons to not bring this amazing animal back to our countryside. Okay, reason number one, there's not enough habitat in Scotland for the lynx. Studies by lynx experts have shown that there's actually enough habitat in the Scottish Highlands alone for about 400 lynx. Although Scotland lacks native tree cover, like I discussed in the last video, we do have lots of non-native conifer plantations and the lynx will also use these for shelter and for hunting. Reason number two, there's too many people in Scotland. The country is too densely populated for lynx. This isn't true. Lynx are found all over Europe in countries that are far more densely populated than Scotland is. These include Spain, Portugal, Italy, Austria, Slovakia, Romania and many more. If you don't believe me, then have a look at this. This is a light map of Europe and if you look at Scotland, you can see how dark it is compared to the rest of the countries that I've just mentioned, especially the Scottish Islands. There's hardly any light there and that's because the Scottish Islands are not a densely populated region of Scotland. Reason number three, lynx will attack people. This is extremely unlikely and you'd be very, very unlucky to be attacked by a lynx. Lynx are shy animals and they aren't interested in humans, they would rather stay well clear of us. As far as I'm aware, there are no records of lynx attacking people unless provoked. Reason number four, they'll kill sheep. It's probably the most contentious issue regarding lynx reintroduction back to this country. However, the reality is that lynx are ambush predators that do not like to leave the cover of woodland. They hunt in woodland. Lynx are very much forest animals and sheep in this country are typically not kept in, in the woods, they are kept on open hill grounds and open pastures. Now that's not to say that lynx would not attack a sheep from the woodland edge. The attacks on sheep probably would happen on occasion, but there are ways to mitigate potential losses incurred by farmers. These could include compensation schemes from the government, electric fencing, livestock guardian dogs, or even simply an increased human presence around pastures where sheep are kept. And finally, reason number five, they'll hunt other rare Scottish animals such as the capercaillie and the wildcat. Again, this is possible. However, studies from lynx diets studied across Europe, specifically a 10 year study from the Jura Mountains in Switzerland, shows that capercaillie and wildcat were very far down the list of things that lynx typically eat. The lynx's top prey of choice is the roe deer. They'll also eat red deer, as well as foxes and hares and rabbits. Now, given the lynx's relationship with forest regeneration and the fact that they help enhance forest habitats, their presence in woodlands may actually benefit animals like the capercaillie, whose habitat is already limited in range and very fragmented. And the fact that lynx hunt fox as well, foxes will take capercaillie chicks and eggs, so this is an additional benefit. Furthermore, the carrion left behind by lynx may provide an additional food source for wildcat, which in reality face a far greater threat from hybridization and disease from domestic cats than they do from being hunted by lynx. 
It's worth remembering that the Wildcat and the Capricale already coexist with Lynx on mainland Europe, and they have done for thousands of years. So they would have done the same in Scotland before the Lynx was wiped out. And that's it. That's the top five reasons that I commonly see being given by people to not bring back the Lynx to Scotland. And I hope that what I've just told you now has debunked that. As ever, I will leave links in the description of this video. So please check them out afterwards. That's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you haven't, please subscribe below. And yeah, thank you for your continued support. Nice one. Cheers.